Hey guys, it's Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandibar.com. Welcome to today's video. So you might have heard about aloe vera, aloe vera juice, aloe vera cream, aloe vera everything, right? And aloe vera is a sort of cactus, you might say. But just like other ingredients in nature, it has its health benefits, many of whom, or, or many of the which, have been studied and have been studied effectively and profoundly. Now, curiously enough, a lot of the health industry or the beauty industry that you use every single day in shampoos, in skincare, in even, even supplemental form contain aloe vera and you might not know what's for but today i'm going to show you several several studies that are going to prove to you that aloe vera might be an ingredient you want in your life so what is aloe vera let me show you real quickly here aloe vera like i told you it's like a small cactus like it's a plant right that comes right out of the ground and right into these huge leaves that inside inside contain this special gel and what is actually the most impressive part of this plant is the gel-like structure right in the middle of the leaf that contains actually right under the leaf or between the leaf. This is a laxative substance, if you see my little handy there. And then you have the gel that is what has the most health benefits and we can take it in any shape and form. So what is aloe vera? I just, I just, um, I had that, that, that accent there, that Italian, Italian accent or Spanish accent. But what it is, you, you now know, and what it's for is the best part. So first, health benefits of aloe vera. Believe it or not, a lot of people suffer, and you might know, a lot of people suffer with stomach problems, ulcers, you know, stomach pain, constipation, and a lot of people also use aloe vera to help ease these chronic ulcers. And why not, right? The amount of junk food we are eating every single day is just enormous. The amount of packaged goods and uh, chemicals and pesticides contained in all these foods obviously will cause a problem and do cause a problem every day. We can use aloe vera to ease that pain and even, conclusion, this study, if you want to read it later, you can go ahead, go ahead and read it. Aloe vera is a beneficial treatment and cost effective for patients with chronic ulcers. So you can use it too. There are supplements, there are substances that you can buy, you can use, you can, you can, you can take to improve all sorts of problems with uh, your stomach. You know, bloating, gas, inflammation, all sorts of these problems. Look for GI Balance from Fineland at drlandivar.com or at finelandvitamins.com. Excellent, excellent, and you can take to help your system improve and your digestion. Also, Collip Gone, which will decrease inflammation and improve situations of colitis, help your body uh, take care of lupus, and help help improve everything that has to do with digestion. All right, so number two, second best benefit of aloe vera. Not many people know this. It has an antibacterial effect. You see, H. pylori is the first cause or the most common cause of gastritis, which will later prove to to uh, to cause ulcers. Now there are studies showing that aloe vera, the inner gel, which I just showed you. Let me show it to you again so that you can see it. That way we make this video a little bit more hands-on if you want. This little gel here has an antibacterial effect, and you can use it. You can improve uh, situations like H. pylori, proven in this study. So again, 50% of the detected strains, independently of their susceptibility profile, were inhibited with the growth of that antibacterial substance of with uh, of that bacteria H. pylori. So you might want to give it a try. It might work for you, and it might be a lifesaver, life changer in some in some situation, shape, or form. All right. Number three, third health benefit of aloe vera. You can take it as juice again. You can take it as supplements. You can take it in any shape, shape, or form you like. Aloe vera, that same gel I just showed you a couple minutes ago, has an effect on protecting your skin. And that's why you will find it in creams. You will find it in all sorts of um, substances that you can apply on the skin to protect your, your skin from UVA radiation. And the mechanisms of this effect have also been studied and it does protect you against that uva sheltering that lysosomal membrane of your skin you can go ahead and read all this information later on very important it improves and reduces that photo damage even though it does not have an anti-radical properties 
it does improve the protection of your skin. And that's why you see it sometimes in sunblockers and all sorts of uh, products that contain aloe vera. If you need something natural that can help improve your skin beauty and improve and see uh, also a regener regenerative uh, situation on your skin, look for Renew Skin from Phylet, which also contains aloe vera, organic aloe vera barbadensis, along with other ingredients like nicotinamide, like palmitol, and substances that are natural for you to take or to, to use on your skin. All right, number three, number four, sorry. A lower vera, not many people know this also, improves skin wrinkles and elasticity. It has this, uh, it has this substance inside that not only protects your skin, but also helps hydrate your skin and helps your skin regenerate and have those cells have that uh, elasticity that they need, that collagen and have them and have them stay healthy so if you are using aloe vera even if you're using it just because you bought it and you have that gel on your skin know that it will help you the same way uh, if you use something else it has other ingredients maybe differently but it does improve every aspect of your skin all right number six or number seven i already forgot lose lose uh, lost control of the numbers that we are using here but it does improve your digestion not only your stomach and ulcers and h pylori but also conditions even like irritable bowel syndrome colitis situations where it becomes a little bit more complicated and complex to see an improvement in the lower vera it says here is effective and safe for the treatment of patients with irritable bowel syndrome. All right, so what else, doctor? Can you help us, you know, maybe, I don't know, use aloe vera for something a little bit more more dramatic. Well, yes, it also improves or inhibits the proliferation of human breast cancer and cervical cancer cells. I have seen this happen. I know it does. Now, obviously, it's not maybe, you know, you have to take you have to take it for a long period of time to see the effect. It's not going to be something you take today and you see tomorrow, oh, look, it improved or inhibit that proliferation of human breast cancer cells or cervical cancer cells. But it does help a lot if you take it over time, if you take it naturally, and if you take it every single day without stopping. So there you have it. There is much more to aloe vera. I cannot go over everything, obviously, because there are so many studies, so much information that it's just impossible. If you need something natural for digestion, by the way, take something like D enzymes or ProBillion from Phylina Dr. Landavara.com. I will see you in the next video. Do not forget that natural substances do help you with your health if you know how to use them, when to use them, and how to apply them. Don't forget that like, and I'll see you on or in the next video. Take care.